ladies. Now we're going to talk about an example of um, balancing redox reactions in basic solution. So really everything is the same. Things that are reduced are still reduced. Things that are oxidized are still oxidized, right? One of our common reductions, just like we saw um, in acidic solution is the permanganate. So permanganate getting reduced from plus seven to um, plus four. Um, and what the, there's only one change and it's sort of what we do at the end. So if there are any H pluses remaining in that final equation after you have added both half equations, what you have to do is you have to add enough OHs, but you have to add them to both sides to eliminate H plus, okay? Because you have to think in a basic solution, you have lots of additional OH floating around. And what happens is that OH does bond with those H pluses to give you, um, to give you water. All right, so there would not be additional H plus floating around in basic solution as there is in acidic solution. And really, you need to just think back to the definition of acid versus base to kind of think of why that is. So let's take a look at this example here. So we have a basic solution. And again, your problems are always going to um, have this verbiage, either basic or acidic solution, okay? And these are the things that you need to really pay attention to on the AP exam and when you're practicing. So let's go ahead and write out our starting equation to get, to get going here. So we have a basic solution containing sodium sulfite and it's mixed with a solution of potassium permanganate. So remember our sulfite gets oxidized to sulfate and our permanganate gets reduced to MnO2, okay? So we're gonna write that out. So we have our, let's see, sulfite ion. So sulfite is SO3 minus two. And then we have permanganate, so MnO4 minus one. Right, and what do we get on this side? We get SO4 minus two, and then we get MnO2. All right, so we have our sulfur here going from, gosh, struggling with the pen right now, of course, but we have our sulfur going from, so we have three times negative two, which is negative six. So what we have here is a plus four for our sulfur. And then our sulfur over here, we have four times negative two, that's negative eight. So sulfur is going from a plus four to a plus six. So that's our oxidation. And then our reduction, right? We have Mn going from plus seven to, let's see, two times negative two is negative four to plus four. So that's our reduction. All right. So let's go ahead and write out our, get started on our, sorry, our half equations. I'm gonna draw a line here. There go, so our oxidation is SO3 minus two to SO4 minus two. All right, so here, the first step would be to balance our sulfurs, but they're already balanced. So now we wanna take a look at our oxygens, okay? And we need one additional oxygen on this side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an H2O. Okay, then we have our SO4. I'm gonna actually get my line a little thinner so I have room. All right, so our next step is to balance our H pluses. So we have H2O and that's a liquid, SO3 minus two. You can always assume that our ions are aqueous, SO4 minus two, and then we have we need two H pluses, so two H plus. All right, so now we wanna take a look at our charge. So on this side, we have a negative two, and on this side, we have a negative two. 
and a plus two, so that gives us zero. So what we need are two electrons on this side. So H2O liquid, SO3 minus two, SO4 minus two, H plus two electrons. Okay, so there's our half equation for that side. Now we wanna do our reduction. So our reduction is our Mn O4 minus one and Mn O2. All right, so MNs are already balanced, so we don't need to focus on those. So first step is our oxygens. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to write in our H2O. And what we need is an additional two oxygens on this side. Oops, that's a minus one. MnO2, and then let's see, two oxygen two, so two H2Os. All right, so now we wanna focus on our hydrogens. So we have four hydrogen on this side, so we need to add four. H plus to this side. Okay. So let's say we have plus four minus one, that's plus three, and then zero over here. So we need to add three electrons to this side. Okay, so now we wanna do our least common multiple, okay? And our least common multiple of our two electrons and our three electrons is six. So we need to multiply this guy by three and let me use a different color here so that's actually a little more obvious. So we're gonna do that times three and this times two. So we get, I need a thin line. So we get give myself a little more space three H two O plus three SO three minus two three SO four minus two six H plus six electrons. All right, so now we're gonna multiply this guy and we get eight H plus two MnO4 minus one, six electrons, two MnO2, four H2O. All right, so now we need to add these and we're gonna have to do a little canceling on both sides. So let's first take a look at our H2Os. So we have three on this side and four on this side. So we're gonna cancel, we're basically canceling three on each side, which leaves us with one on this side, one. All right, now we have H pluses on both sides. So we have eight on this side and six on this side. So we're gonna take six away from both sides we get two H plus, uh, and then we can cancel our electrons. And let's see what we're left with. We have two H plus, um, three SO3, two permanganate ions, and then three SO4, two MnO2, and then one H2O. Okay, so for basic solution, right? If this was acidic solution, you would be all done. It would be fine for those two H plus ions to be floating around. But because this is um, basic, right? Those H pluses would get used up by the OH minuses floating around in solution. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take two OH minus, and add them to both sides. 
So what happens when we combine two H pluses with two OH minuses? So remember HOH is H2O. So that gives us two H2O from those guys. Right, and then this stuff on this side just stays the same, H2O plus 2OH minus. So that would be your final balanced redox equation in basic solution. So it's really pretty much the same. The one thing that you do want to remember for basic solution, the reduction of permanganate, right, going from MnO4 minus to MnO2, so going from a plus 7 to a plus 4, um, and then adding those OHs at the end to use up any H pluses, and that's just a result of being in the basic solution with all of those additional hydroxide ions floating around. So hopefully that made sense. We will have lots more practice on um, balancing in acidic and basic solutions. So I hope this helped and um, let me know if you have any questions.